cold and certainly very different today compared to the weekend, which was almost perfect and glorious. Lots of people at the Strawberry Fest and other things outdoors. And now it's back to rain and breezy and humid kind of weather. And that will be the trend most of this week. Live radar showing that we do have rain over much of our area right now, actually mostly light to just moderate showers. In fact, over New Orleans at this moment, we have a little cell that just moved across the West Bank and now is over much of the city heading to New Orleans East. This is all moving fast, though, really nothing to super worry about today, aside from just having to get out in a little bit of rain, which we haven't had to do a lot of lately. North of the lakes and scattered showers there, too. Again, nothing severe. We're looking for just the scattered showers, maybe a couple of thunder storms, little rumbles of thunder or flashes of lightning. But again, nothing really strong today, it looks like. In fact, tracking it with our high resolution model so you can make your plans through this afternoon. This takes us to about three or four, still maybe some scattered rain out there. Fast forward to about 730, so right around sunset and just after we might be finishing up in a lot of spots, but still maybe a coastal shower and overnight looks a little quieter. Now we'll head into tomorrow during the day and tomorrow we'll have about a maybe 30 or 40 percent chance for a few of those showers. Note nothing super strong tomorrow, but here comes a disturbance kicking up maybe a line of some rather heavy rain late Tuesday and then this is around midnight Tuesday into Wednesday. So looks like we will have some rain then and maybe even a low end risk for a couple of strong to maybe severe storms then and then during the day Wednesday yet more scattered rain and we can hear it in the French Quarter here. We heard that little downpour that we have and just a minute ago we were seeing the rain actively coming down. Now it looks like it was so quick just some raindrops sitting on the camera lens there. Temperatures in the 70s and a little breezy south kind of uh, westerly. Well, excuse me, southwesterly southerly flow coming in over this week. Scattered rain and thunderstorms will be there over the next couple of days. And then by Easter weekend, meaning Saturday and Sunday, it does look a little drier and pretty warm with our temperatures back in the lower 80s and maybe not that really crisp and pleasant kind of Easter feel like we have some years. In fact, last year I remember it was a little bit cool, uh, but this year it does lo look like we'll have a lot of rain. Today we'll say upper 70s, about a 40 50% chance to keep seeing a little bit of that rain through the afternoon. And then tonight we'll drop our rain chance to about 20% overnight with our lows in the 60s. Our severe risk for tomorrow and for us, that line that I showed you isn't getting here until late, probably not even nighttime. But notice that there's a little higher risk to the west of us near Baton Rouge. Most of our area will be at that low end level one of five. Uh, risks levels for severe weather and then on Wednesday we'll up it to the level two levels one and two. We're pretty used to that. Sometimes we'll get the a few warnings when we have this kind of setup, but once you get to the three and then the four, that's the level range we were at when we had, of course, the Araby tornado the past couple of weeks. We've been having that higher uh, risk, but this time it looks like we're more in kind of our regular risk because it looks like a little lower chance, but overall we'll still have to watch for high wind gusts, maybe some hail and an isolated tornado. Some of us, though, in fact, most of us will probably not get so much the strong thunderstorms, but rather just some decent rain with a big bullseye for some heavy rain farther to the north of us. Now it's looking like over the next few days we might get up to two or three inches of rain. That's what's indicated by the blues and purples, and that might would be a good thing for a lot of us who are looking to get out of our drought. Our drought monitor showing the reds and oranges corresponding to what they label severe to extreme drought conditions. And we have had only a little over half of our average amount of rain at the Kenner Airport so far in the year. So could use a little rain and we do have the chances there, particularly Wednesday into Thursday. That will be with a little front and it's not going to be a very drastic front as you can see, but maybe just a little bit of a uh, cool down by Thursday and Friday. Good Friday chance for a couple of spotty showers or storms and then Easter Sunday. You can see highs maybe about 83 and just a slight chance for a shower.